Okay, let me talk about mathematics. I'm sure all of you love math, yeah? <laughs> uh, not so much? <laughs> well, I know that not everybody loves math. Well, honestly speaking, how many of you guys hate math? Oh, not so many, that's good. <laughs> well, actually, I think some people who hate math believe that math is all about numbers and calculations and formulas and all the boring stuff. But let me tell you, that's not true. There's this famous joke. In the 19th century, there was a famous mathematician called Ernst Kummer. And he's a very famous mathematician. Actually, he's called the father of arithmetic, the father of number theory. But actually, he wasn't so good at handling simple numbers. Once in a lecture, he was giving a class, and he got stuck trying to calculate 7 times 9. 7 times 9. So he was like writing on the blackboard, and 7 times 9, oh, what was 7 times 9? Um, come on, what? what? And one of the students said, it's 61, sir. And another said, it's 69. And then Kumar said, come on, calm down, gentlemen. It can't be both 61 and 69. It has to be one of them. Oh, it, it, this was supposed to be funny. <laughs> it was a joke. It's a famous, uh, so not all mathematicians are good at numbers. <laughs> He's a famous number theorist. OK, thank you. Well, anyway. Well. Math is not just about numbers, and I can keep on talking about math without talking about numbers for like a day or a week, if you wish. Every day there's a new theorem improved. Every day a new idea, a new concept is created. Math is a totally endless, open-ended, creative act. It's a little bit like music. For example, what's cool and what's not depends on which culture and which era you live in, in mathematics. For example, some people think that category theory is really cool. Well, maybe you don't know category theory, but some people think that set theory is much more sexy. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and in some countries, some people are good at handling concrete stuff, and some countries are good at handling very abstract stuff. So math is not as rigid as you might imagine. But the biggest difference between math and music is that in the world of music, there are wonderful composers who create music and make music. But at the same time, there are wonderful players who play music. So you have Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, all the great composers make beautiful music. But we get access to this music because great players, Glenn Gould and Yo-Yo Ma and all the other players, play the music so we can get access to the beautiful music. But in the world of math, unfortunately, there are great composers. Every day, lots of math is created, but no one plays math. So the world, the beauty of mathematics is only accessible to professional mathematicians. And I wanted to change things a little bit. Actually, three years ago, I started doing math concerts at places like these halls, and restaurants, and even at temples, I talk about mathematics, and non-mathematicians come to listen to mathematics. And I wish that not only me, but more people start doing math concerts so that the beautiful world of mathematics will be accessible to non-mathematicians. Well, anyway, let's get back to the subject. I said that math is not just about numbers. Then what is it about? Mathematics is called sugaku in Japanese. Su means numbers, and gaku means the study of something. So sugaku means the study of numbers. And I don't think this is a good, well, translation, because this gives the impression that mathematics is actually about numbers. But the word mathematics originally comes from this Greek expression, ta matemata. Ta matemata means things we gain by taking. But it's not the taking in the ordinary sense. It's the taking of what we already have. So we usually take something that we don't have. But ta matemata means things we gain by taking, but the taking is the taking of what we already have. Well, this is difficult. In other words, mathematics in its original sense means the taking of what you already have and the knowing of what you already know. So what does that mean? There's a Japanese mathematician called Oka Kiyoshi, and I hope everyone would, will remember this name after this presentation. 
He used to be in Kyoto, and he's one of the world's most, well, most known Japanese mathematician. And Okawa is actually so great that some people in Europe thought that Okawa was the name of a group. They couldn't believe that he did all this job by himself. Just one single person did all this job. They couldn't believe it. And Oka was not just a great mathematician, but he was also a profound thinker and philosopher. He has left some great quotes and beautiful essays on the nature of mathematics. And in particular, he repeatedly said that mathematics can say nothing of the first number one. Well, obviously, numbers are the most simplest objects in mathematics. But if you try to explain why the first number one has to exist, or what the first number one is in the first place, no matter how hard you try, mathematically or logically, you will never be able to explain or never be able to prove the existence of the number one or what the first number one is. We simply believe it. It's the believing of something with no grounds. Without this power of our mind of believing things, math will be totally groundless and meaningless. So at first sight, math seems to be about numbers and calculation and logic and all that stuff. But underlying calculation and logic, there's this huge dimension in our minds that underlies all calculation and logic. So at the heart of mathematics, there's not numbers, there's not logic, there's not calculation, but there, there's this huge dimension, our inner universe, which Oka Kiyoshi called Jocho. And Jocho is a difficult Japanese word. I was looking for a good translation for it, a good English word that corresponds to Jocho, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find one. So let's just call this Jocho. <laughs> Jocho. So in Oka's terms, Math is not about numbers, math is not about calculation, math is not about logic, math is about Jojo. It's the very act of looking inside your mind and, well, encountering with your own self, encountering with your own rich inner universe, your Jojo. So if you want to do mathematics, pick up a problem. It doesn't have to be a difficult one. You don't even have to prove a theorem that no one has proved yet. Just pick up a problem, it can be an easy one, and concentrate on it. Try to solve it yourself. Don't look at the answers, don't cheat. Keep on thinking about a problem until you figure your way out by yourself. Then, so you have to be patient, you have to keep on paying attention. Being patient and keeping attention on one subject is very important. And during this mindfulness, you'll find yourself encountering with your own mind. And you're, if you're lucky enough, you'll find yourself swimming around in the sea of Jojo inside your mind. Well, try it if you have time. <laughs> so this was a very short presentation on mathematics. And basically, I only have one message. Math is not about numbers. Math is not just about calculation. Math is not just about logic. Math is the very act of looking inside your mind and encountering with your inner selves, with your inner universe, with your inner rich whole dimension of Jocho. So in this sense, everybody, including you, can be a mathematician. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>